In this video, I'm going to show you a really underrated flooding uh, or way to flood zones and also be able to uh, beat man, get your receivers away from some of the more popular ways that people are going to defend you in trips tied in. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. It's free to do that and just allows you to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies that we're going to release here on the YouTube channel. So you do need Slot Apprentice for this or you need to be running Detroit. Um, I've actually moved over to Patriots, especially for trips tied in this year. And the main reason is because I just think it's it's uh, it's got a better run game. It's got a couple of plays um, that you won't be able to find in Detroit. But the other thing that I like is the fact that I use a slot apprentice. By using a slot apprentice in trips, um, it really is effective. You want to put your slot apprentice in at the number two receiver where Chris Godwin is at. Um, that's where you want your slot apprentice. Uh, but anyways, we're going to show you a really good effective concept. You don't have to be in. It doesn't. It, when you have a slot apprentice. It doesn't really matter what you call, right? You can do whatever you want. Um, so, you know, I just use a slot apprentice and everything is pretty much solved. So we're going to use PA counter go for this, but you can do it out of anything. Okay. With that being said, here's the setup. So what we're going to do here, this is really good for beating man. It's also really, really good for beating zone. So um, short side trips, uh, you do want your trips to short side for this specific setup if you're worried they may be in zone coverage. If you're not worried they're in zone, if you know they're in man, then you can run this and you're going to be fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to corner route this um, number two receiver in the trips formation. You're then going to streak um, your middle trips receiver. And then from there, everything else, whatever you want to do other than that is up to you. What I personally really like to do um, is I love this rounded out route, and then I'm just going to drag Mike Evans across. So you see here, this out route is really good against man-to-man. -man. Um, you'll see pass lead that outside. You see he's able to basically uh, beat man-to-man -man fairly consistently. And that's, again, you put short and elite in that position, you're going to have a pretty easy time at beating man to man another thing you could do let's say you're an outside apprentice guy you like to use outside apprentice because i certainly do um, you could do something like this and then you're going to essentially isolate this c route on the back side so the c route would be isolated um, a lot of times that's a really good way to get it open um, you know against man to man so you can do something like that but the other thing that we want to show you and the main reason why we want to have the slot apprentice is because of how this corner route can work against man to man. So you'll see here that this corner route, when he cuts the outside, you're just going to pass lead that free form it. Um, generally speaking, he's going to be a little bit better. Let me show you. Um, let me show you that again. But this corner route's fairly effective against man, especially you need a little bit better route running. Unfortunately, he's not technically in the slot, but if I have like short out or short and elite on that player, um, it's going to be a little bit better. Um, as you see right here, I also have my drag to my tight end if I want to hit that. Or, you know, obviously if Mike Evans was on the drag, we could have hit him across the across. So it's really also, though, but what makes this play so good is how good it is against zone. So against zone, what you're going to notice is because you're running your trips to the short side, um, you technically could leave this out route if you wanted to run an out route. Um, but because you're running your trips to the short side of the field, this corner is really, really good. Okay, it's not good if you run it to the wide side. And the main reason why it's not going to be very effective is because they're going to be able, these cover four drop and cover three are going to have a field day with this corner route. But when you run this to the short side, you're going to see right here why this is so powerful. So again, here I've got my seam streak, boom. Uh, and then you see how that see how that quarter like he kind of looks like he's gonna play it, but he never plays it. That's because he's being sucked into the grid of the inside third or the inside receiver that's on the streak. Okay, and then we'll show it to you again here. So again, same basic idea. And again, if you want to do something like this, that's fine. Uh, but most people aren't gonna be expecting this corner route to this guy. Uh, but it's actually a really really good route. As you see, that was cover three. Same basic result. Um, it's just really good to flood zones this way and it's also good and the, the other reason why I like this is because then your corner route doesn't really run into and a lot of people are anticipating that middle trips receiver being the guy you're going to throw to um, and it's just not not necessarily the case so that's why I like this play a lot uh, let me show you something else real quick so this is cover two I'm going to put uh, cloud flats out here just to kind of illustrate uh, a little bit more Whoops, messed up. I'm motion this guy back. 
Um, if you, whenever we get Hot Rod Master and Mutt, something to think about um, that's going to be really good. Hot Rod Master is going to be a really good ability this year. Um, and the main reason why is because of how good these C routes are. You'll be able to, you can hot route that C route on the left side if you have an outside apprentice in motion, which we'll, we're going to talk about in a future video. But anyways, um, this is cover two. You see it's a real nice, easy hitter against cover two as well. So we're able to beat cover two, cover three, cover four. And then we're also able to beat man. Now, I want to talk a little bit about uh, man for just a second here, uh, a little bit longer. So... One of the things that you're going to see is they're going to put their best coverage player, if they know what they're doing, they're going to put their best coverage player onto uh, number one. This receiver, they're probably going to put their worst coverage player on. They're not really, he has never been a key in this formation. So this is how we can kind of effectively put the corner route here. And now they have to kind of respect the corner route. So you see here, now, you know, my best receiver running the corner and that corner can cook man to man um, as long as again you have good route running good abilities right that's kind of the name of the game this year is having receivers that can actually get open now uh, here's just kind of a fun little thing if you do have this c route if you have the ability to put the c route he will absolutely destroy man to man that's why hot route master especially if you like to run trips um, is going to be one of the most important abilities this year so you know anyway but this corner route, like I said, is is really good. Um, if you're if they're if you're getting a ton of man to man, you might consider just leaving the out route here. Um, you could do whatever you want on the backside too. You could run a slant, you could run the C route, whatever. Um, but you want to just free form that up into the outside, and you see that that can be a pretty decent little uh, way to beat that coverage. Now, last thing that I want to go through is match coverage. So I don't get a lot of match when I'm running trips, uh, but if you do get match. This play is pretty decent against it. Uh, you'll see right here, essentially, it's going to be free form outside. Boom. And it's just this nice little sharp cutting corner that can be very effective. Again, X spot's going to be a little better of a corner route if you have X spot. Um, it's basically the same. Uh, X spot is essentially this. And then, you know, here we have kind of something like this, essentially, uh, with a running back swing. So, what I would do if this was X spot, it's the same thing streak, circle. Um, and then this guy, I would, you know, still motion him over on the drag and, you know, this is just a real simple setup. And again, if they, if they do stop you out of a man look like that, if you get something like that, then just check down just whoever else you have. You have your tight end that could be a good man beater for you. Um, you know, you have your, your motion drag. If you want to try to ag a streak, you know, this year's game, that's not necessarily a bad read. So Anyways, I love this out route, though. Uh, please don't sleep on the out route. That out route is really good. So this is a great little play. It's a little slot apprentice money play that I like to run. Um, just in situations when they start to really key on the middle trip or the inside trips receiver, that's where we want to use the outs or the the um, the middle trips receiver to attack zone and man. Uh, because again, a lot of people uh, a lot of people are gonna like super key on Darden. So if we can attack them with this this other receiver. It just makes us that much more versatile. So again, you know, real simple here. So you see here, kind of gives us a nice win animation right off the ball, and boom. Love this play. If you want to learn more about trips tied in, make sure you join our Patreon. Ten bucks gets you access to our trips ebook as well as the rest of the ebooks we have over there. We have twelve offensive and defensive ebooks as of today, and we're going to be pushing, um, trying to get two new ebooks out um, within the next week or so for the month of October. We've got a ton of content on the way. And uh, just con continuing to try to continue to get better at this game. Thanks for watching the video. Again, if you want to join the Patreon, the link to do that is in the description below.